The Wildcats team up with Pepsi to help kids in need. And how texting could land you with a misdemeanor. All this and Alex Budish with your update on Wildcat Sports. It's Tuesday, March 23rd, and your Daily Dose starts now. Good evening, Arizona. I'm Maddie Rundin. And I'm Kendra Countryman. The UA's <laughs> Camp Wildcat is trying to win a $5,000 grant from the Pepsi Refresh Project. Camp Wildcat provides camping opportunities for the underprivileged kids in the Tucson community. While camping, UA students and children learn team building games and songs, go on hikes, and they even do arts and craft projects to increase environmental awareness. If Camp Wildcat is granted the money, they will use it to fund two weekend long camping trips that they call Big Camps. These trips are organized especially for 4th and 5th graders each semester. That sounds like a great program. I know, I would like to join that. <laughs> there is a new word the Oxford Dictionary should consider putting in their pages, and that word is sexting. Sexting is sending explicit picture messages <laughs> um, or text messages via email or by a cell phone, and it seems everyone is getting caught up in the craze. Recent celebrities to have sexting scandals include Rihanna, pro basketball player Greg Oden, and Miley Cyrus. However, senators in Arizona are looking to stop the problem before it gets out of control. On March 10th, the Arizona Senate passed a bill that would make sending explicit messages a Class II misdemeanor for minors. The bill is aimed at minors because there is currently no legal precedent set regarding sex scene. If convicted, the charge is about as serious as, as if one gets caught shoplifting and applies only to people under the age of 18. Once a person is of legal age, the law becomes less strict regarding the sending and receiving of steamy text messages or emails. I'm interested to see how they're going to regulate that. I know. That's a lot of minors to look after. <laughs> Definitely. It's so rampant now. Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> we'll be right back, but stay tuned for your update on Wildcat Sports. 